Now, you might be wondering, what happens if the mixed moments are not zero? When can that occur, and what does it mean if it does happen? Well, let's consider some simple examples of nice regions, let's say regions in the XY plane, constant density. What does the mixed moment really look like? Well, if I have a domain that is symmetric about the x-axis, if I can flip it and get the same shape, mm, that's it. The mixed moment is always going to vanish. And the same thing is true if I have a domain that is symmetric about the y-axis as well. Whenever you've got this sort of symmetry about an axis, the mixed moment of inertia is always going to vanish. The, the terms in the integral, they're going to cancel because of symmetry. But if I have a shape that is symmetric about the origin, if it's symmetric with respect to a rotation, that does not necessarily lead to a vanishing mixed moment. It might be, but in general, it's not going to be. And if I have a domain that is completely not symmetric, then you would not expect that mixed moment of inertia to vanish at all. So in general, the mixed moment is telling you something about the symmetry of the domain, or a little bit more descriptive term is that it tells you how the distribution of mass is correlated one axis to another. And that'll make sense a, a little bit later. But for now, you might be wondering, so what? I mean, why are we using matrices to encode this information? I mean, matrices are data structures, but in order to be really useful, we should be using matrix algebra for something. 